There are almost as many ways to rig suckers as there are fishermen. But the most popular and widely available are various permutations of something called a quick strike rig. It gets its name from the fact you strike the fish as soon as it bites. <sighs> the main negative with this type of rig that I found today is that it involves treble hooks poked in both sides of the sucker which tends to really slow the sucker down and makes it get tired quickly too. Another rigging option is what I call my magic hook rig. It involves rigging the sucker through the nostrils directly to a piece of wire with no hook at all. This allows the sucker to be trolled much faster and it stays alive and healthy for hours, ready to react and panic when a muskie sees it. I've found this rig ups the number of bites at least five to one. The hook is positioned several inches ahead of the sucker. This way, when a muskie turns the sucker head first in its mouth to swallow it, the hook is in the muskie's mouth, not in his throat. Plus, by grabbing the wire and pulling, the hook can reverse itself and comes out with no problem. If you want to try the magic hook method, you'll have to make the hook yourself. Let me show you how. Quick strike rigs are available almost everywhere. Plus, you can make your own. But if you want to use my magic hook rig, well, you're going to have to make it yourself. I'll show you how. It's not very difficult. I'm starting out with about an 8 aught uh, egg hook. You want something with a fairly short shank. And this is point .057 brass wire. And you can see I bent a little loop in it using this round nose jewelry plier. Here's one I've got prepared already and in addition to making the little loop I've clipped it off short and then with a vice grip I've actually squeezed down and flattened flattened the end just like a tiny little hook keeper on a fishing rod. The other ingredient you'll need is thin thin copper wire which I peeled out of an old lamp cord. This is a blackened hook, so just to make sure that my silver solder will stick, I'm going to roughen it up with a piece of emery paper. I use anywhere from about a 4-0 to an 8-0 hook for this. I'll take a little piece of wire, and this is sort of like wrapping a guide on a fishing rod. Loop the wire over itself a couple of times. I've got this positioned so it's just a little bit above center and you don't have to be real fancy or real neat and then you wrap it the rest of the way and then you do the other side pretty much the same way then I'm going to take a little flux and just put a drop of this liquid on here. This is just to clean off any oxidation. And to make the solder stick. This is silver solder. This is no lead, non-lead bearing silver solder. And you don't want to be real hot with this, just real. It's going to get it heated up. When it's hot enough, the solder just melts right into it more solder on there that I like. There we go. And I've got this actually in a vice grip and a seat clamp so I can remove it. Stick it in the water. And there we go.